any black people in Happy Days? Because it was 1956, and black people just weren't that happy. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, Those no, were not people, Happy Days. <laughs> they, never wore the, they never wore the letters on the card. No, 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 never. Did you, you watch it growing? In the, in the kitchen. At, but, but did, okay, did, did black people watch Happy Days? Yeah, I watched Happy Days. Yeah? Did, you, yeah. did you like how it had a, a guy, an older guy, wearing leather? They had one got... black guy, Sticks. Really? He played the drums. Sticks. I don't in the remember. band, yes, and they had a whole episode, and and Fonzie was the one who was would not allow racism to, oh. uh, <laughs> to be around. Hey, hey, everybody, you got to play with sticks. Right. And in real life, Sticks went on to become a huge porno star. <laughs> Ron Howard is the biggest director in Hollywood, and Sticks, you know. Pedal after the break. <laughs> there were never any black people in Happy Days. Because it was 1956, and black people just weren't that happy. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, Those no were not people. Happy Days. <laughs> they, never wore the, they never wore the letters on the card. No, 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 never. Did you, you watch it growing? In the, in the kitchen. At, but, but did, okay, did, did black people watch Happy Days? Yeah, I watched Happy Days. Yeah? Did, you, yeah. did you like how it had a, a guy, an older guy, wearing leather? They had one black guy, Sticks. Really? He played the drums. Sticks. I don't remember. In the remember. band, yes, and they had a whole episode, and, and Fonzie was the one who was, would not allow racism to, oh. uh, <laughs> to be around. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody, you got to play with Sticks. Right. And in real life, Sticks went on to become a huge porno star. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Howard is yeah. the biggest director in Hollywood, and Sticks, you know, ha- uses his stick. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So, in fact, the only sort of even in um, Starsky and Hutch, the only black character was a guy called uh, Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear. Who was yes. the uh, another kind of sideline? Yes. Um. Uh, yeah. Tell Have me. you been following the uh, the developments on the Clinton front? And he's, uh, moved, he's to- moved to Harlem. And uh, <laughs> of course, he moved to Harlem. You know, you know. Does it seem odd though that he he his original choice? Well, it's was- cheap. <laughs> does he live in Harlem or does he just work? He just he works commute? in Harlem. So he commutes from, he lives, doesn't live there. Then. He lives in, where does he live? Uh, yeah. Westchester. Westchester, and yeah. then he commutes to Harlem. Right. Mm. Yeah. But he, his original choice was like the most expensive part of Midtown Manhattan. Right. And then he turns up in Harlem saying, giving one of those like homilies about, I'm happy to be your neighbour <laughs> and I want us all to be neighbours of the world. And and everyone's applauding you, and I'm thinking, but this is the guy that didn't want to live there. Well, th- but no one wants to live there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> most people would rather live on Pip Avenue. And, you know. Now, I might be really stupid, but they keep referring to him as the first black president. You know how they keep saying that? Yeah. Well, well it doesn't look black he to likes, me. He likes, <laughs> well, like most black men, he likes women with big asses. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe I'll head over to oh, home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to forget about that liposuction. I'm yeah. going to home. <laughs> Big ass town. Who am I? Do you have to? Do you have to? Are you, are you here next Tuesday night? As no, in not here, I'm, but I'm going to rehab. Okay. <laughs> so you don't have to do a census thing. No, 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 no. no, 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 you, no, no, you, no so no, you don't. No, no. Well, that's lucky. A census in Australia? That's not hard. What do you mean? Why is that? Well, it's like everybody checks the white box, right? Yeah. And, uh... But that's why we wanted you to be here. <laughs> Just to add a little multicultural element, you see. Oh, It'd okay. be you and the other two black guys. That... Oh, okay. Franklin is the and other Franklin one. And Franklin and Jai. Jai. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Franklin and Chris. Do you, do you live in New York? I live in New York, yes I do. do. you? It seems like everyone who's famous in New York goes to Nick's basketball games. I'm there all the time. Me, really? and, me and Spike Lee and Woody Allen and, and And how do you get do you how do you get to sit by the at the front? You blow the players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of them. The whole lot. Yeah. 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 But, oh, yeah. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Chris. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> But in all seriousness, no, <laughs> we're going to a commercial break, and then when we come back, how do, you, how do you know when you're actually good enough to get invited to a Knicks game to sit on the front row? Um, I don't know. I it, it just happened. I I did something. I was on TV for something, and they they just put me in the front row. Was mm. it to do with I, being picked comedian of the 
whatever it was, century by, no, decade, year by, by Time magazine, which you were. Time, heard. but, you know, what do they know about comedy? <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, um, I, I, uh, they have, like, this pool of names. You call, like, when you're in town, you call in and say, I'm in town. I'm in town. And then they decide what... And then say who they decide like to what, what the order is going to be, and a lot of it depends on if it's a TV game or not, and you know if Puff Daddy's in town. Really? You know, oh, keeping it real. Yeah, mm. keeping it real. And Puff does it? Help, I, I presume when you see at a, at a basketball game, it helps the ratings for that game. Yeah, and yeah. then you can charge the, the normal people, you know, two thousand dollars a ticket because yeah. they got to sit near Jack. <laughs> So uh, one of the things I loved in your film was that whole thing uh, of heaven and the concept of even in heaven there are velvet ropes and yes. some people are on the wrong side of it. Once you've got to that position, like of you know being nominated by Time magazine, does that does that change? Do you get to be on the other side of those velvet ropes, or you still sort of marginalised? I don't think or? the people care about Time magazine. Right. I mean, I'm sure if you know if me and Jim Carrey were doing shows the same night more people would go see Jim Carrey. Right. It'd just be me and the time people. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're a fun gang. Yeah. We funny. should probably we should probably show a clip from Down to Earth, which yeah, is the film that, that, which starts tomorrow. Uh, where you sort of end up in someone else's body. Yeah, I'm a, right? I die, I go to heaven, I find out that uh, they took me too soon. So they mm. bring me back to Earth and the only body I can get is of an old white guy. Right. So and then the comedy starts. <laughs> shall we show it? <laughs> Yeah, you were executive producer on that, weren't you? Uh, yes, I was the executive producer. Yes. So, how how difficult is it to to get to groups with that kind of role? Uh, it's you know, it's where it's not. It's kind of just a title. I mean, if you write a movie and you start it, you're the producer of the movie, kind of. Mm-hmm. You know, they, mm. they pretty much have to do what you say. But uh, I don't know. Why, why did I even take the credit? Bill Cosby told me, take all the credit you can get. <laughs> 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 take every credit you can get. <laughs> don't never let these white people forget you work, they work for you. <laughs> so you were catering manager as well, were you? <laughs> yeah. So I just took it. Cause um, cars said take it. But do you? Is it like in your such being on the time comedian of the century or whatever it was? Oh did, God! Did, did, but is it is it easy? Take it if it says me century, and take it. Top. Okay. Is, <laughs> top. is he still alive? Carrot yes, top? he's yes he's, he's he's banana top now. But uh, every, every now and again, every every five years, a, a character comes out of America that we just have no. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman yeah. was. Well, come on, you guys had Yahoo Who's Serious. serious? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we didn't have Yahoo Serious. He was a construct of the Hollywood studio system because, really? well, I think so because I'd never heard of him before that. Had anyone else? Wait a minute, but no. he made his film in Australia, though, didn't he? Fuck. I know, but. Well, you but guys had he's... Crocodile Dundee, yeah, Paul yeah. Holden. <laughs> okay. But you can get arrested for using his name in vain in this country. I oh, think. really? Oh, yeah. Okay. They I, did a study. I hope to get in the next Crocodile sequel. <laughs> <laughs> crocodile goes to the gap. Did you get, <laughs> do, you get, do you get Crocodile Man? Uh, Steve Irwin, the Crocodile. Oh, I like the, the Crocodile do. guy. See, every Everybody. American, mm. Every single American that comes Because he here. fights crocodiles, damn it. <laughs> 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 All right, Chris. Look, I hope the the film goes well. So, how long are you staying for? Uh, I don't know. As you, long as you know, as long, as long as it... we're trying to raise money, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll raise money. For anything. <laughs> this is a tote board. What's the tote board say? Are those kids walking yet? <laughs> Please thank Chris Rock for coming on the show. Yeah.